Hey, what is going on, internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So to continue our series on creating these Halloween graphics, we have another tutorial today focusing on a sort of a flicker effect, but more focusing on, you know, creating pumpkins inside of Illustrator. So it's kind of a two for one tutorial. I'm gonna be designing some vectors in Illustrator, but then we're also gonna be bringing over to After Effects to animate this quick little flicker. So, you know, if you're into the flicker effect, you can save for that. Um, and or if you just wanna learn how to uh, design uh, these pumpkins in Illustrator, we can kind of go ahead and do that as well. So the first things first, we'll be designing this in Illustrator and then we'll be jumping over to After Effects to kind of create this flicker effect. Um, so, you know, I think it's a kind of a basic tutorial, but for the most part, I think, you know, there's some, you know, maybe the first half is something you guys will be new to, or maybe the second half will be something you might be, you might be more interested in doing. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So this is Illustrator. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new document at the top here, file new, and then I'm gonna just call this one uh, pumpkin tut, and then we'll click okay. So the first thing we're gonna do to create a pumpkin is I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool and I'm gonna kind of draw out like this sort of oval like this. And we'll kind of go here and maybe we'll make this like sort of like a black color or something. And we'll turn off the stroke at the top here. And then let's, what we'll do is we'll copy this and we'll go up to edit, paste in place. And we can kind of move it over kind of like this. And then we can also do another paste in place as well. And now we have three copies of this. And we can kind of like line this up in such a way that we kind of have like even edges at the top here, like even curves. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is select all three of these and I'm gonna go up to window and click on Pathfinder, which I just took, got rid of it, but that's how you can bring up Pathfinder if you don't see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this add button right here. And basically it's just gonna uh, connect all of these three uh, shapes into one shape. So pretty convenient. Let's go ahead and create some eyes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our uh, polygon tool here over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just like click here and you know draw out a polygon like this. And then I'm gonna go up to shape at the top here and I'm gonna go ahead and set the number of sides to three and just click off of here. And now we have a triangle. And um, if you want to change the color up here, I changed it to orange already. Um, and let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller and let's go ahead and put this on top of our pumpkin. So now we have some triangle eyes, but of course maybe we can create a little bit of uh, variation to this. So maybe what we'll do is I'll go to the direct selection tool, you know, maybe click a point right here and hit P on my keyboard to bring up the pen tool, hold down alt, and I can kind of like curve it out a little bit. So maybe we can do something like that, I don't know. Uh, but it'll create a little bit of variation. So now what we'll do is uh, we'll go back to our uh, polygon tool and we'll draw out another triangle. And I'll set this back to three, done. And I'll go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll make it a different color just so we can see it stand out. And I'll kind of go here and make it much uh, smaller. All right, and maybe I'll select both of these. I'll go to our line tab over here and just kind of center them up. Not like that, but like that, there we go. And then with them both selected, I'm gonna go back to our Pathfinder and I'm gonna go ahead and click the subtract button right here. So now we kind of have like this triangle eye and you know, it's pretty cool. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the gradient tool over here to on the left and it'll pop up the gradient tab here on the right and I'll kind of just click in here and we'll go here and we'll kind of create a gradient. So I'm gonna select like two shades of orange. Maybe we got this yellow orange sort of thing going on here. And you know, just create a nice little gradient, that's cool. So there we have, you know, one eye. Maybe now what we can do is copy it and paste it in place and we just hold down shift and move it over. So now we kind of have these two eyes here and now we kind of want to go ahead and maybe create the mouth. So what I'll do is I'll grab the pen tool and uh, this time what I'll do is I'll just like click over here and I'll go ahead and click straight across, like just hold down shift so we can create a straight line. And I'll just hold it and I'll kind of drag out this curve to kind of you know, create this nice, nice little curve in the middle here. So now we kind of have like this sort of, you know, straight curve. Then what I'm gonna do is hold down Alt and I'm gonna click this point over here to get rid of that extra vertice. Then what I'm gonna do is kind of go to the center here and we'll have like the little guides here. And I'll go, to, I'll go ahead and click a point and I'll hold down Shift to kind of create this perfect, you know, sort of angle. And then I'll connect to the top over here. And now we kind of have a face and, you know, we can go ahead and put it on top of our pumpkin here. And you know, you can keep it at that, but let's say we wanna create some teeth, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go back to our polygon tool and you know, draw out a polygon and change the size to three. And we'll basically do the same thing again. Um, let me go here and select this color. And you know, let me rotate it. And we'll just put it into position, maybe like there. And then what we'll do is copy and paste it in place again. And we'll just move it over to where we like it. So maybe 
up a little bit maybe. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's cool. And then we'll do the same thing, copy, paste in place. Actually, we didn't have to paste in place, but rotate it by 180 degrees. And we'll do our bottom teeth kind of like this. And we'll copy and paste this in place. And there you have it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our mouth and our teeth here. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract that from the Pathfinder. Just so now our mouth kind of has those rigid edges like that. And then the last element I want to create, well, I still got to create the stem, but I also want to create another little, uh, you know, I guess, I guess specular element on our pumpkin. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle tool and just draw out like a, you know, a perfect sort of rectangle like this. Then, then what I'm going to do is go up to Effect, Warp, Arc. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to vertical since I did it uh, vertically. And that should be OK. And then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance. And now we kind of have this. And I can go here and shrink this down. And maybe rotate it a little bit. Maybe I'll squish it up. So now we kind of have just a little bit of, I guess, a specular element to our pumpkin. And it looks pretty cool. Then what I'm going to do is kind of create the stem. I'm kind of just going to the pen tool here. And I'm going to kind of just like, you know, curve this out. You know, kind of create my own sort of uh, stem here. You know, stems are usually not, you know, perfect looking. So I'm um, just going to kind of create like this sort of hook I guess and hold down alt break that up and boom now we kind of have a stem like that I'm not sure if I like it but all right so then what I'm going to do just to finish up this pumpkin design as well I'm going to go ahead and click on our uh, body of our pumpkin here I'm going to copy it and paste it in place and then I'm going to make sure you know I'm going to go to the eyedropper tool which is over here and then just select this color of the stem and move this up a little bit oh, move it up hold down shift so it doesn't jump anywhere and then go to object arrange sent back and maybe I'll move our stem up just by a little bit. So now we kind of have like sort of like a, a bevel-ish effect to our pumpkin here. So it's not totally just standing out there. But this is kind of quickly how you can create a pumpkin in some of its faces. I'm not, a per I'm not a great designer. But, you know, I at least understand some of the tools that are needed. Um, but this is quickly how you can create a pumpkin. And what we'll do is we'll make sure to save this uh, document. And I'll just call it Pumpkin Tut. That's fine for me. And click OK. And then what we want to do now is we want to just go here and maybe just delete, um, you know, everything because we just want to have our face here. And we'll go ahead and save again. Not don't save the same file, but save this one as like pumpkin face. So you have, you know, your full pumpkin, and now you just have the face of the pumpkin. And we'll click OK. So, and this will allow us to, uh, you know, create a flicker effect separately inside of After Effects. So. There you have it. We have our pumpkin in Illustrator and we are done. So now we'll jump over to After Effects and I'll go into our Tut uh, comp over here and we'll bring in our uh, elements. Let me go over here. Uh, we got pumpkin face and pumpkin Tut and I'll just bring this right into here and I'll drop, drag and drop these into our comp. And as you can see, everything's perfectly aligned and it's nice and neat. And to quickly add some flicker to our face here, as you can see, we can hide. As you can see, we turn this off. We just got our face here. To our pumpkin face layer, I'm gonna go to Effect color correction, uh, brightness and contrast. I'll click the brightness and I'm gonna type in wiggle, open parenthesis, uh, maybe four comma, you know, maybe 75 close parenthesis. And this is what it looks like. If you guys can't see that on YouTube. All right, and I'm gonna move, zoom out here. And as we move forward here, I can see the pumpkin face is now flickering as if we kind of have like a candle in it or something like that. So, you know, pretty cool. And just keep things simple. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, select all these layers. I'll go up to layer, pre-compose, and we're gonna call this one. I don't really know what to call it. I'll just call it Charlie. You know, I'm, I'm giving our pumpkin a name. His name's Charlie. Uh, I don't know. So let's go ahead and create a new background by going up to layer, new uh, back solid. <laughs> I almost said background there. And orange is okay. Um, and you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter what color you guys use, but whatever you know works for you. So let's go ahead and kind of create like sort of a grassy sort of background here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our ellipse tool and I'm just going to make sure nothing is selected in our timeline here. And I'm going to kind of just draw out like a, an ellipse kind of like this and, you know, just probably bring this down a little bit, maybe stretch it out a little bit as well. And we'll put it underneath Charlie here. And <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to our shape layer and I'm going to add a... Um, wiggle paths and I'm just trying to hold back my laughs. I'm so immature. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the size of this and also the detail probably right to 100. And you'll see that we kind of have, you know, this sort of grassy sort of randomness here. 
and make sure we go to the wiggles per second and we'll set that to zero. You might want to have, you know, I would, I would experiment with the wiggles per second, but okay. So what I'm going to do is kind of take Charlie here. Maybe I'll scale him down by a little bit. And, you know, maybe put him in position here. And what we'll do is I'll just hide this. And then I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate Charlie and rename it to Lucy. And we'll take Lucy here and we'll scale her down by a little bit. And we'll move her over here, kind of like this. Put her underneath Charlie. And we'll duplicate Lucy. And we will move uh, Lucy too to the left here and put her underneath Charlie. So now we kind of have like this nice little uh, array of pumpkins. Um, and there's our background. I'm going to go ahead and keep our, the land, our little uh, hill layer off for a little bit just because it's going to slow things down. But uh, let's go ahead and go up to layer, new, light. And a point's okay. And what we need to do is make our background a 3D layer. And we'll go to our light. Um, and we'll go to the position here. Maybe we'll make it, you know, a little bit closer or sorry, a little bit closer to our background, like negative, you know, 400 ish and go to the light options and let's go ahead and increase the intensity to like, uh, I don't know, I think like 400%. And then let's go ahead and all click the intensity and let's type in wiggle, open parenthesis, um, let's see, let's do like three comma, you know, 200 close parenthesis. And this will kind of create like a nice little flicker effect. And what I'll do is I'll go to the uh, the radius here and I'll go ahead and increase that by a little bit as well so we can kind of illuminate the background a little bit more. And things are looking so far so good. All right, and let's go ahead and maybe hide, you know, everything except maybe our background here. And I'm gonna go to a text title tool and I'm gonna go here and type in uh, happy. And there's our font. And I'm using the font Ravenscroft. I thought it was a pretty cool Halloween font. So that's what I'm using. You know, maybe I'll go here and set the font to like black or something. And yeah, that's fine for me. And let's go ahead and go up to effect perspective drop shadow. All right. And let's go ahead and set our drop shadow color to like white. And let's uh, go to like the direction, you know, and kind of put this in a spot where we really like to see it. So like maybe 200 ish degrees and set the opacity to 100%. And let's go ahead and set the distance to like two, all right? And now all we need to do, maybe I'll make the text a little bit bigger so we can kind of see what we're doing. Okay, and let's go here to the drop shadow and let's go ahead and duplicate it and duplicate it just a couple of times here. So now we kind of are creating like this sort of, uh, you know, 3D perspective, this extrusion, if you will. And, you know, if we can, we can really get crazy with this and we can duplicate it a ton of times and you see it just gets, you know, pretty crazy. Now I'm only going to duplicate it, you know, just for the, you know, to where we have four drop shadows. And then what we're going to do is go up to effect color correction tint. All right. And then uh, with our white map to white, what we're going to do is we're going to all click this. And we're also once again, type in wiggle, open parenthesis. I don't know guys, uh, maybe we'll do like three comma 50 close parenthesis. And now what's going to happen is now we're going to flicker colors here and things are looking pretty cool. Kind of trippy, but you know, for Halloween, you know, that flicker effect is pretty cool. And then we know we can come here, duplicate it, and you know, type in Halloween. And then maybe we can change the wiggle of this to be like maybe less trippy. And this is the happy wig wiggle here. And you know, as you can see, the the two fonts will kind of flicker individually. And it'll be pretty cool. And then we'll go back here and we'll enable our layers again. And we can maybe reposition our text or something. Maybe I'll make the happy smaller. And we'll move the Halloween up. Maybe I'll take our pumpkins here. And if we want to like control our pumpkins, I'll create a new null object and select our three pumpkins and parent it to our null object. And we can just scale it down proportionally like that. And if you want to create a new null object, just go up to layer, new null object. And we're here, we'll turn on back our hills here. And we'll maybe we'll position this down a little bit more. And maybe we'll scale it up. There we go. 
All right, so looking pretty cool. So let's say we want to change the color of our pumpkins and our background to black. And that's really easy to do. So what we'll do is go back to our shape layer. We can go ahead and click on the fill and we can set this to like a pure black other than the sort of like a uh, kind of a dark gray. And then we go back over to Illustrator and we can select the front of our pumpkin and we can go ahead and set this to black over here. And then just make sure you go up to save and save as and uh, make sure to save it as pumpkin tut or whatever your full pumpkin body was like. And then automatically, if we go back over to After Effects, our pumpkins will automatically turn black and, you know, that would be awesome. And if you follow along with the tutorial, this is what you should have gotten. So if you guys have any requests for Halloween tutorials or whatever, please drop a comment down below and also feel free to send me a link. Just comment that down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for more After Effects tutorials. And be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you guys have a good day.